also have you too. Yeah. Coming at y'all live from uh, where is this? Definitely at a TA. Definitely at a TA. Uh, Commerce, Carolina. Commerce, South Carolina. Matink. Now, I know if y'all was looking, y'all saw this right here. Still smooth. So it ain't come all the way through. But a truck was driving in front of me and the rock kicked up, I guess, the, 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 the weight and the rotation of the tire. And the weight of the truck and rotation of the tire shot the little rock back and hit the windshield. I was like, damn. This was caused by a big, I'm trying to stop cussing, a huge fly. I don't know if this was some prehistoric pterodactyl damn fly but it was about this thick and this long there's a fat little black fly it hit the windshield so hard it did that damaged the outside crack you look closer you can see a little splatter from it but i'm sure you ain't trying to see that oh another little rock crack damn it's that type of day well it happened yesterday anyway i went for the uh 700 mark today on the e-laws you know that's hard to do it's not really hard but you got to have a good bladder or learn how to piss while you're driving either or is good you shouldn't do it difficult to do it but you know if you want to get the 700 that's what you got to do Understand? so i was in uh louisiana i was in louisiana just inside Louisiana at the Petro. If y'all know I-10 coming in from Houston, the Petro probably exit 50-something, maybe, maybe 50-something. And I went there. I was there last night. So I woke up. This is how my day went. Matter of fact, this is how my week went. Terrible week for a trucker. Okay. I came out from home on Thursday. It's supposed to be Wednesday, but I wasn't feeling good. I went to pick up at Gulfport, something I usually do. I took it to Pineville, Louisiana, Procter & Gamble. We got a dough for you. Okay, cool, cool. You ain't got a dough for me. Just give me your name, your number, and we'll call you. Okay, so Walmart across the street went parked behind there by the railroad track. Got out, walked in there, the subway in the back. It was very unique Walmart, I can say that, to say the least. And, um, man, it was closed, so I went out, walked to Popeyes, ate pop, walked back, ate Popeyes. I probably got there at about, I want to say, three. About 3.30. They called me back about 7 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Yeah. 8 o'clock. We got a dough for you. Just luckily I had enough time to creep over there. I had to back up, drop the trailer, and then pull out and wait by the gate till they finished, which was another hour and a half, maybe an hour. And, uh, yeah. So, okay. Next day. I went, y'all know them Exxons in Port Allen. There's one right there when you come in from Baton Rouge, you're coming over, over the bridge into Port Allen. There's an Exxon to the left, like a little bit from the Loves. And there's one if you get off that first exit when you get off the bridge, all the way down, it's another one. That's the one I went to. That other one worse, equally worse. So, went in there. Okay, we need you to drop your trailer. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Dropped the trailer, went to the Loves, took a bath. I think I took a bath there, got something to eat. And most unfortunately, um, I dropped the trailer off at 11, 12 a.m. These dude called me back at 6 p.m. Okay. I could have drove another hour or so. I ended up stopping in Lake Charles from Port Allen, not too far. 
But I'm not finna not find a parking space, you know, because they late. They ain't my fault. I ain't driving the extra hour and not have, risking not having a parking spot because I can't do sitting duck. I didn't look for no Walmart or Home Depot or Lowe's because I didn't think it was going to be all that time. Plus, I was just up, just like, didn't want to miss the call, so I'm up, trying, trying, you know, just not sleeping. So I was tired, so whatever. Fast forward now. I dropped that load off in Houston. It was going to California. I don't go over there no more. And I went to East Bernard. Okay, East Bernard. Middle of nowhere. Picked up a load. The paperwork ain't had no weight on it. Just the pieces. Called dispatch. They didn't have the weight. Okay, I got to put some for the load to call. I had to... Put something. It wasn't that heavy. I thought it was going to be heavy, man. But it wasn't heavy at all. So, came out of there. That's how far I made it to that petrol. I woke up that morning, went in uh, that petrol. The mega bus, you know, I guess they stopped, you know, refreshments or whatever. So then, this little chick was behind me, right? So this. This like old lady and her daughter, I guess, was in front of me. They got out the line to get some old stuff, right? I be damn. The the chick from behind me went past me to get in the line next to me. And then when the lady moved from in front of me, she got in front of me. So you know, I'm standing there with my cause in the mornings I usually get one of these, two of those. And I get like um, some some uh, little, little cups of cereal you used to get from school and a little chug milk. Okay, you know what I'm saying? I'm standing there with my stuff. I'm right there. She ain't turn around and say, uh, "Excuse me, sir, I'm just trying to get out. You know to make you know the bus leave or." Excuse me, man. I man, I cut in. You know, I'm a nice dude. I would say, sure. Yeah, go go ahead. Go ahead. You know, because I ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? But I thought I was touched up. So I end up leaving, man. I didn't stop till I got to Montgomery. 430 miles. Like uh, maybe like a little couple minutes to an hour left on my um so I had to take my break. So I got back in the truck. I said, okay, I'm going to make it around Atlanta. No problem. It's Sunday. Made around Atlanta good. Got on I-85. And it was so much traffic. I, I couldn't believe it on a Sunday. Pack. I'm like, oh, my damn. I'm like, damn. I'm like, okay. So long story short. Uh, let's see how many miles I made. I've been out duty for two hours. I did 674 today. Oh, man. Damn, 26 miles from 700. I was going to keep going. I was going to keep going. But I know I would went a little farther. It ain't nowhere for me to stop at. I wouldn't be on the side of the road somewhere. And then I ain't want to do 700 for that. So I've been doing pretty all right. To go home every week for two days, two, three days, that's all right. It's going to be a little more than that, though, a little bit. So that leaves me with 194 miles. I was at 877 this morning. I'm at 194.9. So once I go to Mooresville, I got to do a stop in Chapel Hill, and after that, I don't know. Probably go to Columbia and then take that one towards the crib, but I ain't going to stop. I ain't going to go home. I'm going to be like, look, I need another one till Sunday. I want to drive till Sunday. I'm going to go home Sundays. I'm going to tell them that tomorrow. Anyway, so that's how my week started. That's how my day went. Um, I had an ant problem in here. Uh, while I park at, at this little, uh, it ain't no gas station no more. It's like a corner store. I guess the ants, I left some trash in, in my trash bag in him. And I see 
just a trail of ants going across here. Yeah, you got my trail. Oh, man, if y'all never had a, a salad from um from Subway, oh, my God. That's Subway uh, at the Love's right under Montgomery across from the um, Flying J with the Denny's. Right off I-85, exit like, um, I don't know, man. I want to say 52 or 62. Man, I, I had the, uh, you know, the Philly cheesesteak meat that he used for the Philly cheesesteak, duh. Um, I had that, tomatoes, cucumbers, bell peppers, onions, and spinach, a little cheese, the ranch dressing. She ain't put the ranch just in the bowl, but she cut it. She cut it up so fine, like, man, that's, that was one of the best salads I ever had. Now, here at this TA, they got Fud Ruckers. And, boy, last time I was here, one of the best sandwiches I ever had. But, uh, anyway, um, I wonder, y'all watch that guy Sinister? I wonder. I wonder what what he left night. He, he, I guess it was a bad breakup or something. I was, I seen it like a little bit early. I was wondering. I might. I might. I might message him and ask him. I guess he was on the refrigerated side. I guess he had a bad problem with night or something. It's, I, it struck me kind of odd because I never had a problem with him the the, the the second time around, which is this time. Three terminals later, I never had a problem with these people. So I, I'm, I'm interested in what happened to him. Now, he probably won't tell me. I wonder what terminal he was out of. I don't know. But anyway, anywho. Um, what else, man? I just been running, man. Been running. Not doing a running man, but I've been running. Uh, my partner, he said he did 11,000 miles this week. I mean, this month, <laughs> this week. He said they, they night give out bonuses. You hit 11,000, they give you bonus of 600 and some change for the month. I said, damn. I only did a little bit under 80. A little bit under eighty-seven. The, the the bottom the bottom end bonus you can get like two hundred something dollars. And I missed a week, and you know I was home for two three days at a time sometimes. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get up there. I mean, I know I get at least ten thousand a month, but uh. Yeah, I'm going to get a decent bonus on uh, the end of this month, the end of June. I'm going to get a decent bonus. I'm going to at least get four, five hundred. I'm going to get up there. I'm going to get up there somewhere. But, um, uh, uh oh, they got all boys. I guess they my boys too, huh? They actually got some good lanes with Walmart. Swift do. They got a lot of Walmart stuff. Just like Warner got a lot of um, Budweiser stuff. I see a lot of night trailers at uh, Bacardi, Home Depot, a lot of Swift to Home Depot, but uh, uh, nights getting into that too real good. What are you doing? That's tough. Especially if you ain't got a lot of room. Oh, that's tough. No, you ain't going to make that. Oh, that's a bad idea. That is Please don't do that. If they tell y'all that in school or whatever, they probably didn't, but he just wanted room. He didn't want to do it, that little snake snake maneuver, as they call it out here. The back end where you're telling or your trailer is at the corner of your spot. He getting it in there, though. Oh, boy, that's tough. That's very dangerous. If y'all can see that, don't try that. That's very dangerous. You, they look how close he is. He can hit the windshield of that other truck. Look how close that. I wouldn't be surprised if he did hit it. I would not be surprised.
Damn. Anyway, other than that, man, I've been cooling, man. For the rest of my, my week, finish this 1,200 mile out. Then my next one should be about 909 miles. I kind of mapped it out myself. I pretty much know what's my next one going to be. But, you know, I, I'll let y'all know when I figure it out. Um, man, I'm just, I guess I'm about to take, take a nap. I'm well, not take a nap, go to sleep. Seems like I just went to sleep. I ain't going to lie to you. But, uh, I don't know, man. Everything ain't been, everything ain't been peach cane, man. Everything ain't been straight. And look, there's a dude with a truck just like that that's looking busted up that cut me off two times in Texas. Might be him. Cut me off twice, man. We supposed to be bored. No, we pussy. We not a fraternity out here, but it's got to be some type of respect for the next drive. Damn. If if you in the wrong lane, put your signal on, man. I back up, I let you over. Or if I'm if I ain't about to get off, I move on to the next lane and keep going. Let you over. Don't just get over, bro. So now you sitting on my hit it, get it, and pull the bangs and all that. And damn, that's running up my score, get me in trouble, all cause you got old. They say Walmart starting y'all 38 cents. That was a guy told me. I don't know. I don't know. As a matter of fact, it's a Walmart DC not too far. From. Ain't nobody trying to drive no 60, 60 something miles every day. Nah, nah nope, nope. Mm -mm. Ain't trying to do it. Uh, anyway. This at 17 minutes. Um, trying to think of anything that happened else recently. Oh, let me get my little quick take on the uh, the whole. Okay, you know, I know everybody done heard everything about the game. LeBron them lost that first game. It's not totally JR's fault, but he had a part in it. George Hill had a part in it, too. You know, he missed. LeBron had some turnovers in that game late in the quarter. But I get it, though. If George Hill would have made them free throws, it wouldn't even got to all the rest, rest of the stuff. If J.R. Smith would attempt to make a bucket or do his something, maybe got a foul, it wouldn't have even got to our OT and all that other stuff. I get it. I know game two tonight, though. I ain't going to stay up to watch it, man. I ain't got to go 594. I'm going to get up at 2, 3 in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Get some coffee cruising. No, no coffee. No, no, no. No, no coffee. Coffee make you crash something fierce, man. It'll bring you up for a good little bit. But when you crash, boy, let me sleep, hey. So you know what I do? I get some, um, I get like a muffin or I just eat something. Like I eat something and then I listen to Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show with his prank call to keep me laughing all morning. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, you stupid. Damn, bro. Drop your trailer and now you're trying to hurry up and come back and get it, huh? This dude, you know, all the same. Boy, you get some. I don't know about them wheel player. That ain't it. But, uh, anywho. Um, what team I think LeBron gonna go to next year? I'll I give you a good scenario. i give y'all a good scenario. I'm gonna give y'all a great scenario. I think... LeBron, or I think the team, if LeBron will stay, I think the team should get, first of all, JR gone. He making like 12 million a year. 
He might. I think this is the end of this year anyway. But if it ain't, he should be gone. Clarkson should be gone. He making like ten million. I think Rodney Hood making like ten, twelve million. He should be gone. Kyle Corbin might retire. I hope he don't, cause he was pretty good for him. But he might. Who else is on that damn team? Calderon gone. They ain't really have too many anybody. They might keep that Zizek dude they got. I don't know who. I don't think they got another point guard after that. But uh, yeah, George Hill he gone. He making like nine ten million. Work out some kind of way to get Kimball Walker. They want to get rid of him anyway. They got to work their way out to get him. That's number one. Number two, you can still trade that um, first round eighth pick. I, you know, I still trade that for DeAndre Jordan. Uh, you know, I try to lure Cousins over to Cleveland. Like, look, man, you know what I'm saying? Man, you do this thing. And that'll be the start of something beautiful, man. Cousins or DeAndre Jordan at the five. And this is just all hypothetical. Cousins or DeAndre Jordan at the five. Kevin Love at the four. LeBron at the three. Whoever they're going to have at the two, they got to find somebody. But whoever at the two, I don't know. And Kimber Walker at the five? I mean at the one. One. What the hell am I saying? One. Oh, my goodness. That's... That's good enough to get them back to the finals in the East. I know they got Embiid, it, but he ain't no match for Cousins. He ain't no match for Cousins. And that's pretty much the only – White side is the other center in the in the, in the the East. That's pretty good. The White Howard, eh, he's just uh, whatever. He ain't all that anymore. White side scared of Embiid. See how I, what happened in the playoffs. So – you know, and Cousins is better than Embiid. I don't care what you say. He can shoot threes better. He's just a better all-around player. Remember, in Sacramento, this dude will drop the 35 and, and I get 15, 18 rebounds like every damn game. Shoot threes, doing all kinds of – so, man, that's a scenario that might – you know, I don't know if they can work that out. Probably not, but that'll be, that'll be it. That'll be it. Um – yeah, man, I'm going to get off here, man. I'm going to take a old nap and pool. You know, um, night still been good to me so far. No complaints. I do want one of them new Volvos. They got a lot of new trucks, man. I want a new Volvo. You seen them new Volvo? Anyone out here? Ain't no new Volvo out here. But man, them new Volvos! Oh my God! Oh my God! Them the best thing smoking right now besides the new Freightliner. No new Freightliner, nice. But the new Volvos got so much room. Like you step right here, it's so much room. Like, okay, I'm a water bottle. If you think it's junky, it's not. All that right there, and my cleaning stuff. You know, my that some of that stuff fell from up there because I hit a bumps early. And uh, that, my trash bags, I'm going to throw them out in the morning. And my waters, and that's it. What's that? I don't know what's in there. I think that's just an empty bag that I own. That's an empty bag. But anyway, uh, much love, man. If you want to know anything, let me know. Um, You know. I'm out here grinding. Once again, like I always see, if you don't have to sacrifice your family life to be out here, don't do it. Okay? I've been, I got my license in 2013. And even though I don't regret getting my license, I regret me not really trying to get something home off the jump. Because there's companies out here that will hire you for a, a, a home job. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I missed a lot of my kids' life. Sometimes I came home, I stayed out for five weeks, six weeks trying to, you know what I'm saying, just work hard, come back like my son ain't even recognized me. I met my guy and I said, hey, what's up, Junior? He's looking at me. Looking at it. Looking at his mama. Talking about, 
Just looking at them, I'm like, damn, like I'll be gone too long. So, you know, that's my advice to y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. Uh, I am going to make another one tomorrow. Probably tomorrow, I'm going to put the camera uh, in my shirt because, you know, people don't take kindly when you walk around, hey, you know, in their face. So I, I usually put it in my shirt when I walk places. So I'm going to put it in my shirt so y'all can see everything here. Everything is recording longer. Everything good. So keep track of y'all.